Welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith and this is WHO's Conversations in Science. We're busting some more myths today with Dr. Sylvie Brion. Dr. Brion is the Director of the Department of Global Infectious Hazard Preparedness. Dr. Brion's team in WHO tracks several dangerous and infectious pathogens around the globe, including COVID-19. Welcome, Sylvie. Hello, thank you. Sylvie, so we are talking about some of these myths that we have sourced from Google's most searched questions. Some of them we have seen resurfacing on various social media again and again. This one actually comes up very often. Uh, let's start with the one where um, in social media posts we see that Italian studies have found that COVID-19 is actually not caused by a virus, that it's caused by a bacteria, and that by using antibiotics, it can be cured. What is the science behind that? COVID-19 disease is caused by a virus, and this has been proven by many times. The virus has been isolated by many laboratories in the world, and we even have the genetic sequence data of the virus. Uh, so it's not a bacteria and using antibiotics to treat COVID-19 will not help because it's a virus and not a bacteria. But what we have seen in some hospitalized patients is that they were given antibiotics not to treat COVID-19, but to prevent superinfection by other bacteria because some people are really fragile and we fear that on top of COVID-19, they can get also another bacterial infection. Sylvie, we also hear this question very often about alcohol and COVID-19. If you have COVID-19 and you consume a lot of alcohol, it'll sanitize you, it'll disinfect you and kill the virus. Science or myth? No, in fact, um, drinking alcohol uh, doesn't cure or doesn't prevent COVID-19 infection. Uh, the virus is not uh, sensitive to the alcohol we drink. Uh, but maybe people are confused because they see that we use hydroalcoholic gel to wash our hands. But in reality, the alcohol that is in the uh, hydro hydroalcoholic gel is, is much more concentrated. And this is certainly not something you can drink. Uh, otherwise, you will have serious uh, side effects. So uh, it's only to wash your hands, not for drinking. Sylvie, we also hear a lot about garlic. If you consume garlic, it protects you from COVID-19. Is there science behind it? Uh, regarding COVID-19, so far we have no evidence that garlic is a treatment for this disease. So some studies are studying it, but again, I mean, we need to really uh, cross-check the different studies uh, before making any recommendation about garlic. What is for sure is that uh, it's not good for health to uh, abuse of garlic and to take too much garlic, expecting that garlic will uh, cure the disease. Uh, I think it's important for people, and, and I understand that people can be very stressed and very anxious about this disease, but there are other ways to uh, reduce anxiety, and there are other things people can do to uh, be better protected, like washing hands, wearing a mask in crowded place, maintaining physical distance. Can you explain to us how scientists look at these myths and how do they verify these myths? Yes, sure. The, the issue with the, the scientific process is that it's a long process because at the beginning you have an hypothesis and you wonder maybe this uh, product or this drug can work and be a treatment for this new disease. But then you have to uh, implement uh, studies in different places to check if really it works or not. And so uh, this is the scientific process that at the end enable you to have evidence. Uh, but it takes time. Uh, you need to uh, test the hypothesis on many, many people before you can get a definitive result. So until all the studies are done, uh, we cannot say there is evidence. And uh, currently, with COVID-19, uh, it was a new disease only a few months ago. So studies are ongoing, uh, but as I said, it takes time. So some studies are finished and they get uh, results. So the results are really interesting. But before having a conclusion or a definitive answer, we need to see uh, what are the results of the other studies and make sure that all the studies conclude to the same thing. Thank you, Sylvie. That was Dr. Sylvie Brion. 
busting some myths about COVID-19. If you see some misinformation or have some questions, please go to WHO's Myth Buster section on our website where we often address some of these myths. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.